All right, everyone. Can you hear me? I hope. Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Okay, cool. Well, welcome um, to Aleka Talks. Thank you for your time. Um, my name is Serge. I work for with Aleka. I'm your host today. So Aleka Talks. What is Aleka Talks? I wonder. Yeah. It's uh, it's a platform for leaders of a sustainable future on this Earth Day. That's our uh, that's our tagline. A platform for leaders of a sustainable future. And today is Earth Day. If you didn't know, um, at midnight tonight here in KL, they'll be celebrating in the U.S. Eastern Time, midday. And there's all sorts of events going on around the world. And we're having our own here at Aleka with Aza giving a talk. Okay. So we like to keep the talks informal. You're welcome to turn on your cameras. It would be nice to see your faces. But uh, if you could keep your mics on mute, that would be appreciated. And you can just put in the chat. We're going to try to monitor the chat as we go along. There's a team here at Aleka. And we're going to try to answer any of your questions as we go. And we may even uh, stop Aza during the presentation and answer some of your questions. Okay. Um, well, that brings us to uh, to Aza, I guess. Uh, um, we have done a num a whole series of Aleka talks uh, about our carbon footprint calculator, about uh, why it's important to the industry, and now we are into our third session. And Aleka will be showing you about sustainable energy investments or sustainable investing. Okay, sustainable linked loans. She will be talking about this today. Um, I'd like to keep the talk informal. Please write in the chats. Get involved with us if you could. That would be appreciated. Okay. The chats are on the side on Google Meet. Um, just click on the little words on the side and you can write in. Okay. Now a little bit about our speaker. Um, let me see if this works. Yes. Miss Awatif Aza. She's on the call. Welcome Awatif Aza. Thank you. Yes, she's uh, right next to me. You know, you know, she's got the logo as well. She's just right here. That's not true. She's in another room. Neighbor. Yeah, uh, yeah, she's a neighbor. Um, but she's our sales and marketing manager here at Aleka. She's got her bachelor's in marketing management. She's worked for a number of companies over the past five years or so. She's a sports enthusiast. Uh, she started her own company called Era Fitness. Please follow her on Facebook or Instagram. She's a personal trainer. She's very high energy and we're very lucky to have her here. She's a lifelong learner. She just uh, took her training. Congratulations, Aza, by the way, you just Thank got you. certified. Yeah, finally, sure. finally I'm yeah. certified, guys. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. Uh, that's a great course. Quite a few of us here have taken it and uh, it's a great course. I, uh, I am going to stop sharing. And I'm going to turn the screen over to you. Okay. okay. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Serge, for the wonderful introduction. Okay, it's a real pleasure for me to have 26 of you guys here for our third series of our talk. So welcome, everyone. Uh, please turn on your camera as well, if you don't mind. So hello. Thank you, Lana. You want a camera? Awesome. So my name is Aza. I'm the sales and marketing manager in Aleka and Denver High. So before I begin again, I would like to say thank you so much for taking the time out. And this is our third series of our Aleka Talks. We're going to have four, a lot of more series coming up. So stay tuned uh, on our profile link, uh, Aleka. Okay. So basically, in today's topic, like Serge mentioned, just now, it's going to be informal. We're going to uh, we hope to have more feedbacks and comments from the chat box from you guys on the floor. We will be sharing more on uh, the recent Purple Bank campaign that we have launched uh, a couple of weeks ago. And we actually hope to get as many support in our campaigns and to seek partnerships with all of you guys in achieving these sustainable goals and around the industry as well by providing the right tools, right trainings and also expertise uh, for the sustainable investment. Okay, so shall we go to the first slide? All right. So any one of you guys want to share a bit on what this Paris 2015 agreement is? Okay, never mind. Let me just share with this here. So for today's webinar, we're going to highlight on these two things. The first one is raising awareness on Paris Agreement aim. And the Are second you going to share your slides, Aza? Are you sharing oh, your slides? 
already heard. Sorry. Which screen? You oh, got it set up sorry, with three screens. Screen. Yeah. All right, okay, my apologies, guys. We got them up on screen now. Okay. Thank you. My apologies. Okay, so this is the first slide, basically. So I'm going to introduce and also highlight one of our outcome for today, which is the first one is to raise awareness on Paris uh, Agreement aims and also on the ESG criteria, which is, stands for environmental, social, and also corporate governance. All right, so number set, the second outcome will be how we can actually deliver energy projects with lower GHG emissions and with aligned with sustainability link financing. Okay, so uh, let me uh, start this uh, topic on the Paris 2015 agreement. So it was actually called upon and agreed by about 196 nations. It's a collective effort basically to actually strengthen the global response to the threat of climate change by keeping the global temperature below 2, plus, uh, two Celsius. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are aware on this. Um, Paris 2015 agreement. So after all this uh, agreement has been developed, it all boils down to the rise of sustainable investment, or we call it ESG investing in relation to our latest campaign, Purple Bank. All right, so, so what is sustainable investing means? So let me start off with this first slide. What does it mean? What does it do? And sustainable investing is also similar means to uh, PRI, which stands for Principal Responsible Investment. It also means green financing. And also there's a lot of different terms, but like, uh, but at, at the end of the day, it actually defines the same concept, the same term. Okay, so let me go to the definition of sustainable investing. So it derived from the definition of sustainable development. It's broadly defined as a practice of implementing or using ESG factors when making any investment decisions, all right? So it also, um, individual who invest sustainably choose to invest in companies, organizations, and funds uh, with the purpose of generating a measurable social and environmental impact alongside uh, with having a financial return. So as you can see, this is what I get from Focus Malaysia. They were saying that sustainable investment is actually growing, but there were not enough uh, reaching to the market that they need the most, all right? So this is um, the reason why there are so many factors and uh, reason why it's very important these days uh, from the finance and also banking institution. Okay, That's so- true. Th Thanks, Aza. Yeah. I'll cut in there. Yeah. So I was just wondering, all of you listening today, um, we have this ESG term. I'll be honest, it's so new to me. Uh, mm -hmm. In the last year, all of a sudden it showed up. You know, we, we have so many actors acronyms in our industry, but ESG is relatively new. So I'd love to hear um, in the chats if you guys uh, want to share, you know, are, are you guys using that to term now? Do you, is it a common term in your companies, in your, um, in your university, wherever you're coming from? Let, let us know uh, how, how, how much you use that term nowadays. We seem to be using it a lot here at Aleka. Yeah. True. So besides ESG terms, like message mentioned, we also have like a sustainable SRL term, SPT. So basically there are so many terms coming up, rising up after this whole agenda been rising up. So uh, this is why we have came up with this campaign for aiming for the finance and banking institutions, right? So there's two terms, uh, basically the common terms that uh, they define the sustainable investment, which is the first one that we receive, that we get from the Loan Market Association, stands for SLL. So what does SLL mean? Basically, it, it function, it works for sustainable link loan. So what does sustainable link loan? Maybe some of you would like to share with us as well here. We all are learning these new terms coming up on the, um, this whole agenda. So I can read through you. So SLL means Basically, companies uh, can leverage their ESG performance to improve their bottom line and their company's overall of their ESG performances through sustainable link loans. So basically, it's a loan instrument that actually incentivizes the corporate borrowers to actually achieve agreed upon sustainability performance objective, such as their improved ESG ratings or any other KPIs that have been set. So this performance objective on the other hand, is called a uh, sustainable performance target. All right, so these are the two common terms under the sustainable investing uh, 
uh, terms, basically, sustainability link loan and also sustainability performance target. So this is also uh, one of the references that I got from um, Sustainalytics. It's a good references for all of us here. They actually have defined and also uh, incorporate the draft saying that the evolution of the sustainable link loan uh, from all the industries here. And uh, zoom, in, there's a zoom into the bottom there, yeah. sustainable link loan evolution. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay, so everyone can see. There you go. How many billions it's grown in the last few years? Well, so, the only thing that grows nowadays. Yes, as you can see from 2017 until up until 2020, they came up with this analysis and it has grown tremendously. So it shows that ESG factors has been implemented globally on a global um, platform. Uh, this is a good reference for all of us, saying that it's also very important for us to um, implement ESG factors in our organizations. Okay, so let me zoom out a bit. Let me go. Now let's go to the next term, which stands for SPT, which is Sustainable Performance uh, Target. So what does Sustainable Performance Target? Um, it's actually a measurement tool for the borrower's achievement uh, to actually achieve their performance objective. So the borrower's uh, SPT may include, for example, their key performance indicator. It can also include their external ratings or their performance uh, equivalent metrics or any kind of measurement that actually can improve in the borrower's profile to become more sustainable. So that's why these two goes in hand in hand, sustainable link loan and also sustainable performance target. All right, so you always align together within these two terms. So a few examples that um, I do have here that I want to share with all of you guys also, but um, maybe if the rest of you, the audience who would like to share, what does Sustainable Performance Target have um, shown in your organization? Maybe some of you already implemented this in your company. So for example, there's a few categories I would like to share for uh, buildings, yeah? For buildings, example of Sustainable Performance Target is where the improvement in the energy efficiency ratings of the buildings or the machineries used by the borrower. And even for water, like for example, they the water savings made by the borrower, housing increasing in the number of affordable housing units developed by the borrower. So basically all of this actually define sustainable performance target category. Okay, so it's much more easy for us to understand what does SPT means. And all of these above categories actually could be uh, measured by our system that we actually currently have in our uh, Aleka uh, system. Yeah, it can, we can also work and function as the SPT advisors for the SME, for the bank institution, by having such a standard system analysis. And this situation will actually avoid the need for the banks, which is the lender, for the ongoing monitoring for the um, borrowers to check on whether this company has achieved the uh, performance target, whether they have achieved the SPT, whether they have turned into a sustainable profile or not. So we come in the middle, we could be the person who actually consult and work remotely and also support this initiative. Okay, so let's get to the next one. So why, why sustainable investing is important these days? As shown by this Bloomberg news that I've gotten and the local news EPF, as we know, the Malaysia's largest saving institution with the asset total of 791 billion, they actually strive to be the forefront in championing the sustainable investment by actually incorporating the ESG principles in their investment consideration. So by doing this kind of act, by actually moving into this direction, they are putting more awareness. They are putting everyone together to act into this one um, principle to uh, create future generation of EPF members to have a sustainable retirement future. And as you can see on this slide, on the draft, they can see moving forward, the right sustainable will also be a part of your license to operate. So maybe in comparison of traditional investment, they only focus on two things, which is the price and the quality. But these days, uh, they already incorporated sustainability factor into the um, license to operate that is actually developed by the United Nations Global Compact. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, Asia, mm. When I look at uh, how many licenses uh, our companies have, uh, both Aleka and GGRE, yeah. we have so many licenses so many to operate licenses. from uh, 
government yeah. from the local council dbkl gives us a license every year mm -hmm. don't they and then we get a license from some of the major uh, contract holders like petronas and so on mm -hmm. so all these license holders are going to start to request it hasn't started yet but it'll start maybe with the financing here. I see uh, yep. you've got price, quality, sustainability. So pretty soon we're going to be judged not only on price and quality of our goods, we're going to be judged on uh, sustainability. Of course, in our industry, we've always been judged on our uh, HSE record, right? No mm -hmm. one should get hurt in our industry. Correct. Yep. It's like, well, the next one is going to be sustainability. How uh, how strong are you on your environmental, social, and governance aspects where you're not sacrificing the future uh, of the world to do your business? So that's a, a very interesting times. And uh, of course, Aleka uh, buys in or is supporting the United Nations yeah. Global Compact, aren't you? Agree. Yeah, correct. It's, it's what we all are moving forward into for us to actually it's very important to all of us to act responsible responsibly in moving together as one so like sis mentioned just now in aleka we have thousands of modules that we would love to present to you as well and we have a lot of um uh, licenses to actually provide to any type of organizations and to actually support the banks and the financial institution initiative in creating more awareness towards all their uh, borrowers right because they are the most biggest influence in the industry so we would love to actually support them in that in that sense okay so this is why it's very important as having epf as our reference and epf also has created the six key principles yeah for their responsible investment or it also called sustainable investment right so let me open up this one so these are the six key principle that has been signed by 2000 signatories as you can see the principle one they were talking about incorporating ESG into the investment analysis. I will just go through this one, yeah? And then the principle two, there will be active owners to incorporate ESG issues into their ownership policies and, you know, uh, seek appropriate disclosure on ESG issues, promote acceptance and implementation of the principles, working together to enhance and to also implement the principles. And the last one will be the report and the data analysis. So basically, these are the um, requests, the requirement that the 2000 senators, the 2000 senators actually represent more than 70 trillion USD uh, by EPF. This is actually referenced by EPF. So these 2000 senators are required to implement these six key principles of responsible investment in order for them to actually um, uh, uh, establish this, this relationship and also having to transform the organization into a green uh, business. It's into the decision making process or into any investment analysis must incorporate ESG term into their uh, decision making. All right. So this is by EPF itself. It's, um, so what are the driving factors in sustainable investing? So the first one will be on the change in the global focus the rise of uh, the shift into socially conscious investors. And the third one will be the data, a rise on evolving data analytics. So everyone needed data to measure something. So in Aleka, we do have provide uh, a, a standardized uh, system or analysis to actually uh, give you guys an annual report on how sustainable your business is. And if you guys are looking for a loan from the banks, since, uh, like I mentioned earlier, price and quality, and also they have implement sustainable sustainability term into their uh, framework. So if you guys want to get into more sustainable agenda, it's easy for you guys to actually collaborate with a um, company like us, like Alika, because that's where you get to measure all these things. All right, so this is where I'm going to talk more about the industry partnerships with Alika. Like we mentioned earlier, the finance world are focusing on this agenda, the ESG, the SLL, which stands for Sustainability Link Loan, SPT, Sustainability Performance Target, and the Paris Agreement and the UN goals, right? So how uh, does industries able to partner with us in Aleka? So let me just uh, take this into the presentation mode. So banks and the SME work aligned together hand in hand, but how do they measure in between? 
like I said, SMP need a lot of financing for their uh, for their business. They need to run uh, and to establish a long term business goal. They do need money and all year on a yearly basis. And second point, they really rely very heavy on the young professionals and new leaders to take control or to take over from the previous generation. So we could actually also provide uh, some uh, succession management uh, training guide that we actually provide a global network uh, consultation from our system, from our from our side. And SME also need um, incentive, like maybe they do need some lower interest rate, uh, in some interest rate rebate, you know, a reward tool basically. So that's where the SPT comes in, which is a sustainable performance target comes in to measure and to prove to the lender that they do have the report coming in. Okay. So how do, all right. So the so, let's Yeah, that's a good point, Aza. So now uh, SMEs need to start um, almost, almost acting like a big company, even big though you're an start. SME that's yes. doing a small business. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're, you're a supplier to a big company. All right. The big company will have to report you know, the big company will have targets. The SME as part of that procurement or part of that network of supply mm. is going to have to have some kind of structure. And uh, I think that's great that uh, Aleka can position itself for mm. all these smaller companies in between right. yep. to help them get lower lower interest lower rate loans. And all this and, right. and to calculate and to calculate their um, their carbon footprint, but also yeah. calculate their uh, how well they're doing towards the sustainability goals of the UN, mm -hmm. which is quite quite uh, elaborate. I think there's 17 in total, isn't there? Total, yeah. I think it's 17. Yeah, correct. So yes, we do support small um, SMEs, small companies, like uh, such mentioned earlier. So that's where Aleka comes in in between between the banks, the lenders and the borrowers. So they need to have a standard measurement tool to actually um, get and achieve uh, the loan from the from the banks, right? So the bank represents the lender while the SME actually represents as the borrower in the framework. So right now, if I'm not mistaken, do correct me if I'm wrong as well. There are many strong uh, measurement tools that actually help to calculate the offset and also the net footprint on per person basis. Um, but in Aleka, we do have that kind of support to actually evaluate and calculate the carbon footprint and for, uh, in, for in terms of individual or also car, you know, overall basis. So banks can actually easily to validate this ESG ratings and assisting their auditor, their audit assessment on the SPT by having our uh, report from Aleka. So that's how the industry partnership works with Aleka. So what do we have in Aleka? So this is the main climax of the presentation, basically. So we do have the carbon footprint calculator. In Aleka, we have a ready-to-use toolkit. It mostly helps to evaluate an energy investment. And also, as you can see here, it evaluates personal carbon footprint. Let me, see, let me just zoom in here. All right. So this is what you will, um, the organization, the banks will actually receive from us. Basically, this is how it will look like. But obviously, uh, in the long run, we could actually discuss more if you guys want to customize to your own needs, your own requirement. So you can select the year, you can select the number of people, and it will actually measure all these things, buildings, vehicle fuel, public transport, as the offset, the net footprint, your country, and all these things. So these are the data that is much needed and much uh, very, very important these days. Uh, to the industries. So we are uh, hosting on Microsoft Azure cloud-based software. We provide standard analysis to the to our clients and it's very fast. It saves a lot of time and it's very oversimplified kind of toolkit that you guys don't have to think so much on how to calculate and how to measure. And it's reference to so global references and also adapt to your needs. Your, we are very customized whatever to your own requirements. And like Peter Drucker said, the famous Peter Drucker said, if it can't be measured, then it can be improved. Okay, so for example, like you can actually make a contribution this year about 10% and it will keep growing and increasing each year by having a standardized uh, assessment that will be provided by our team by as an Alika. Okay, so we would like to have a standardized analysis um, statement for the industry to have for them to actually publish in the annual report, you know, so on and so forth. 
Yeah, no, that's great. So your mm. the tool itself will be a standard approach to, to measure your, your carbon footprint, but also range. we're adding more tools on sustainability, things like succession management, things Correct. like uh, equality in the workplace. Uh, there, like there's 17 in total for sustainability. So we're building, uh, a lot of those are more, I guess, qualitative, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, this one's a very quantitative one. This is, yeah. But um, I think we're working now with the UN Global Compact, getting uh, some feedback on some of the uh, proposals to them. And they're keen on the qualitative ones as well, where companies try to meet all aspects of the uh, ESG yeah, principles, yeah? Yeah. Yes, there you go. So um, the other um, toolkit that we have here as well is commercial evaluation toolkit. Okay, so this is also how it will look like in the system. So it's to check the impact of um, the GHG initiative, right, is to compare the cost to reduce the emissions to the benefits of getting the sustainable link loan with the reduced interest rate. So this is what you have to provide to the lender, if I'm not mistaken. So right now, I'm not sure what kind of report or assessment they're providing, but these are the ready toolkit that we have in Aleka that is called Commercial Evaluation Toolkit. Let me just mark. All right, so what we have here is actually in line with the SLLP, which is Sustainability Link Loan Principles. And we also have economic range modeling, and we also provide a scenario testing to see the impact of the GSG mitigation initiative and incentivize organizations to be more sustainable. And again, we will also be able to adapt to every client needs on the modules that we have right now. That's great. So it helps to compare the cost to reduce emissions and the benefits. And how do you guys want to achieve the benefits of the link loan is by providing this kind of data to the lender. That's right. That's an important point, I think, is right. because SMEs, SMEs can't really afford um, yeah. to overspend, right? All right. Every, okay. every dollar needs to be accounted for Outcome. and you need to get revenue for it. Um, so if you, can, if you can show them what the incentives are to reduce, uh, to become more uh, ESG sustainable, then I think... Uh, people will make much better commercial decisions, especially if it's linked to some kind of evaluation toolkit. This is, this is, uh, this is an important aspect of Aleka where we're trying to bridge, you know, doing the right thing with still having a viable business. Yeah, agree, agree. So like uh, the commercial evaluation is really also important for small companies because they don't have the much fun to actually buy a very expensive or complex system. So don't worry about it, get in touch with us. It's, I'm going to tell you more about the price and all that, but this is the important data that you guys need to have in order for you guys to get the incentive uh, by the lenders, right? To evaluate, to actually save more costs, save more time as well. Okay, so the benefits of um, working together with us in the team, right? Like you said, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we do have the calculator carbon footprint and also the commercial evaluation toolkit, which is also, like we said again, it's quite uh, added value to the SMEs in Malaysia right now. Yes, uh, they are uh, working to reduce the cost, they are working based on how to make it simplified and agile and working collaboratively with their, within the people in the organizations. And yes, so the benefits of working with us, carbon footprint, we will also provide somehow annual report on the sustainability, which is your uh, key performance indicator, your KPI and you are eligible to have the SLL, the Sustainability Link Loan, for you guys also to get the incentive given by the lenders and the Young Professional Training Guide. Uh, we are also, all of us, again, a certified HRDF consultant, so do not worry about it. Even Search himself, Mr. Search is a, uh, we are a certified HRDF, so. That's right, and a few people on the call, I see a few of our trainers on the call as well, yes. You can recover your costs for training your young professionals through the HRDF, the Human yep. Resource Development Fund. So getting us involved, you can actually um, get that back from the government. Okay. Right. So it's, it's, it's like zero cost there, but you guys get a lot of value. So we are HRDF, Clable, I need to highlight on that. Okay, I think I have one question here from, uh, from the floor. Uh, she's asking, what is the difference 
between traditional um, and sustainable investment. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Yeah. So what I understand is the difference between traditional and sustainable investment is practically just implementing ESG into the factors, into the principles. So when they actually implement ESG, they will uh, be able to have to to get return more on positive impact on the society and the environment, and at the same time they get to achieve the 17 uh, goals that it was given by the UN. So it work hand in hand. So that's the differences why people are preferred to actually move into sustainable investing in comparison to stick to traditional investment. It doesn't really have a lot of um, benefits if you guys stick, you know stay there and doesn't make any changes. Okay, so the benefits again, um, add value to your organization on the standardized measurement tool used uh, uh, by Aleka, by the system, measures your personal carbon footprint, you can also measure your company carbon footprint contribution, and these are the, uh, the data that is needed at this moment, uh, at this time, uh, very crucial for you guys to achieve. So another question, Neza, um, yeah. um, what's the uh, standard used for the carbon footprint report in here? So the standard here, there's a lot of UN documents on the standards. So we've uh, read them all. There must be about 2,000 pages worth of yeah. standards. And it's more of a guideline. So the most important thing you can do is to, is to create your standard um, and measure it once and then you always measure it the same way every time. every time. That way you can reflect reducing yes. it next year. So if you use our tool and we've standardized it according to the UN Global Compact and a, a few UN documents and World Bank documents, those are our two go-to references, I guess. And if we use the tool, if you use our tool this year and you set yourself a baseline, and then you set a target for next year to reduce your uh, emissions yeah. or you re or increase your uh, environmental social governance uh, awareness within your organization then using the same tool next year you can show uh, your your uh, decrease okay and then that can be linked to a loan where if you're showing good governance yeah then you'll actually get lower interest rates in the future. So these sustainability linked loans, that's something we never quite covered. Correct, in the yes. ASAP, where if you get a sustainability linked loan and you meet your targets, you are rewarded. With Yourself, lower interest yeah. rates. Yeah you're, yeah, you're rewarded. So it's important to measure them at the beginning, make some targets, and when you meet them, you get uh, reduced interest rates. So these are very interesting times yeah. for companies that are moving into this. Thanks for the question. Um, yeah, thanks for the question, Kihas. And um, Leonard asks, uh, from my case, I'm from a student startup, social enterprise. Oh, I think we can make the discussion in the future to see how. Wow, sounds okay. good, Leonard. Sounds give, good, give Leonard. Me a call. Hit us up on LinkedIn, good. Leonard. We'll try to help you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe I can take a little bit time to, you know, uh, describe and then let's see how Aleka can help us, maybe, and how we can benefit Aleka too. Uh, it's a guitar enterprise, and what we do is that we convert food waste into cooking gas. And I was wondering, yeah, definitely Aleka can help us determine the carbon footprint that we have yeah. produced and all. And we were wondering, uh, could, could there any possible way of using this to help us, you know, uh, secure funding from investors too? Sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. We would love to have a talk about that. That's a great way to reduce um, carbon emissions. Methane is methane is no good. Methane is is twenty depending on who you talk to. What twenty five to sixty times worse than yes. uh, CO two. So yes. you're bringing um, and also if you're if you're doing it for others, then it's it's a, an extremely positive impact for other businesses. So yes, please, uh, we can help you. Get in touch with me. Hit me up on LinkedIn. Thank you, Leonard. Yeah. All right. We'll get back to you, Leonard. Yeah. Thank right. you. I've for sent the LinkedIn. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll meet you for now, Leonard. Thank you. All right. We'll get back to you after this, Leonard. So let me continue my presentation. So, like I said, just now, benefits and now, now we have someone who's very interested to be working with us. So why do you actually partner, why partner with Aleka? Basically, I'm going to summarize this into three things, three key takeaways. Number one is the tools that we have right now. 
evaluate opportunities based on value and sustainability. And we are cloud-based, which is uh, also uh, able to have low footprint for your organizations. And training, we are all HDF claimable, uh, recoverable, and also we are able to provide a succession management for your young uh, professionals in your company. And expertise, you will also get access to the global expert network that is available on our system. You will get to view the information, the background basically on our system. Okay, so why partner with us? This is the main key takeaways. So moving forward, you actually also get to achieve about 90% savings with implementing this digital framework aligned with the uh, IR 4.0 by using our tool. Okay, so saving is actually defined by both in terms of the cost and also the carbon footprint. It also uh, very much secure with the safety of Microsoft Azure and standardized with Alika's calculator. So basically, um, I would like to also summarize, you get to save costs about one over 10 out of the usual value that you guys get from the previous, uh, from the SSX system that we have now, sorry, the Thunder. So using a simple tool to function on a daily basis, for you guys to measure, like Serge mentioned just now, every year you get to measure 10% and as the year comes by, it's not about now, it's about how you guys measure in the, in the longer run. And you guys were able to save a lot of time to calculate or evaluate your energy investment, your, uh, your carbon footprint for your organizations. And at the same time, you guys get to uh, uh, achieve and align with sustainable leave loan, you know, and as, as achieve and complying to the sustainable performance target that is already developed and created these days. CIMB has come up with it. Um, Citibank, Honlyong, they also have given an award to banks who have achieved the most ESG ratings. So we are talking about this, this whole thing is all, is all new for all of us, especially, you know, in, um, for students like Leonard and he's also having his own startup. So it, it is a good time to invest in this kind of thing. All right, you get to give back. So now that's all for the talk for today. So these are the references that I achieved uh, from the from the, my presentation. And yep, thank you. Thank you everyone for your time. So I would like to wrap this up. It's already 2.40. I would like to wrap this up for the 20 year people still in this call for this infamous quote. If you think sustainable, you think Aleka. All right, so thank you so much. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you, Asa. well Let done. stop sharing. Um, does Aleka support, uh, I got another question, how does Aleka able to support in the SSL and SPT terms? So I think what we're doing now is we're setting up some relationships with uh, the UN Global Compact and with uh, we're trying to get a hold of as many banks as we can to get them to support us to give SMEs a chance. Anyone applying for a loan, let's work with them. Let's yep. standardize their ESG initiatives and make sure that uh, they're going to, you know, meet those targets and get lower interest rates. It's all about getting access to capital, access to funds at a lower interest rate and delivering a new economy. Yeah, isn't it? Delivering a new economy in the world with a lower footprint and great initiatives like Leonard's initiative to uh, get uh, food waste and get it into cooking gas, which is a much lower footprint than methane released to the atmosphere. So that's a big win. Um, thanks for the question, Banu. Um, any more questions? If not, um, I have a few closing remarks, I guess. Can you see my screen? Yes, or if you have one, go ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, can I request for like the, like the presentation uh, material to share so that I can further discuss with my friends too. Is it possible? Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think we should be able to PDF it and send it to you. I think it's not a problem. All right. Awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll keep it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Leonard. Yes, Leonard. please. Um, anyone else who wants to slide deck, we're, we're welcome to uh, share it with you as well. Okay. So a few closing remarks. You remember what the uh, the, what we wanted you to learn today, um, it was to raise awareness of the Paris uh, Agreement aims and ESG. If it's a term you're not using, it should be a term you're using going forward, I think, in all companies today. Uh, the Paris Agreement aims, you remember what the Paris Agreement aims were? There were three of them. Um, Aza mentioned them, but the, the third one was the most important, which was to make finance flows 
on a path to lower greenhouse emissions. Huh? So that was uh, what we wanted you to take away today. And then also how to deliver energy projects with lower greenhouse gas emissions with sustainability linked financing. So now when you think about your, uh, your project, whether it's an energy project or a small business project, you can kind of set yourself a goal to reduce your emissions over time, to increase your sustainability, whether it's uh, something to do with gender equality or whether it's something to do with uh, um, uh, using uh, less energy, you know, some kind of uh, optimization. There's 17 targets in total from the uh, from the UN that we all need to be aware of. Maybe we'll have another talk on those 17 targets. I can see. Maybe I'll talk to the uh, talk to the Aleka team and see if anybody wants to do a, a talk on all 17 sustainability targets, uh, sustainable development targets by the UN. So the next talk, the next talk, Aza, uh, we're going to switch places, aren't we? Aza, yeah. Aza takes Asa. over. Aza takes over, over as the moderator. And I'll be talking about performing an asset evaluation quickly, how using a lake up, you can do it, use it as a screening tool to quickly uh, evaluate any type of uh, opportunity within a day. So you can frame it, you can take a look at it, um, you can do a risk register, you can do the economics, and of course, you can go all the way through to sustainability and you can calculate the footprint and maybe come up with ideas on how to reduce uh, your footprint.